Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rogers Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. And a big thank you to each and every one of you who is giving us support and uh, who is making sure that we are growing at a very high rate that we are growing currently. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, kindly I beseech you, take your two to three seconds, click that subscriber button. It doesn't cost you anything to click it. It doesn't eat your bundles, it doesn't eat your credit. Just click that subscriber button and turn on the notification bell. If you want to get a notification when we upload, turn on the notification bell. Nanikiwaka video, pop, unaipata. We are heading to 15,000 subscribers and there's a big milestone and I never take it for granted. Your comments, I take them seriously and I read all of them. Those who encourage us, those who are advising us, may God bless you so much. As usual, I will be mixing Swahili and English so that my point is home, clear and precise. Kaka Sungura, unajua, mimi nimekua nikizungumzia naibu wa rais, my able deputy president, deputy Dr. William Ruth, in this platform, not with bad intention, but with an intention of trying to correct him uh, on a few statements he makes. Because unajua, Ninapokuwa hapa nje na nikimtazama akicheza mpira mimi ninaona makosa yale ambayo maybe yeye hawezi akayaona na watu wake kwa sababu hawana wakati wa kupitia hizi video na speeches ambazo anazipeana so my work on this platform you know the bible says Ruto said recently on a live television interview that a slap from a friend is more useful than a kiss from an enemy yule mtu ambaye anakukriticize sana huyo mtu anakupenda na anataka ubadilishe. Kaka Sungura, ninapo critique the deputy president from this platform. Mimi ninataka awe mtu ambaye sisi tunajivunia. Mtu ambaye tunampenda. Na mtu ambaye atakuwa rais ambaye atasaidia nchi yetu ya Kenya. Mtu anaye kufokea. Baba ambaye anafokea mtoto. Baba anapenda mtoto. Hatha Bibile inasema in the book of Proverbs. That if you spare the rod... You spoil the child. And if you spoil the rod, you spare the child. That is the simple logic. When somebody criticizes you, that person loves you so much and he wants you to be a better person. Ladies and gentlemen, um, our able deputy president, to me, as I sit from this platform, we are 27 days to the general election. And uh, to my own view, if I was at a position of advising him, he should lower his temper whenever he is addressing people and his allies. Not only in rallies, but also in meetings. By the way, to say the reality, our ever deputy president William Ruto has a high temper. He's a tempered man. Unapo mkosea, ni mtu ambaye anaroya juu sana. Nikimtazama anavyo jibu watu na anavyo tatua maswala ambayo ya namlenga yeye kama kiongozi. Ni mtu ambaye hawezi akaketi a internalize an issue before responding. Yani ni mtu anapenda kupeana immediate response. Yani ukimukosea munamalizana hapo hapo. High tempered bus. Kama ni kofi, muna peana, muna marizani hapo. When he speaks to respond how he was chased from Jubilee, he looks a very high-tempered man. And up respond how the way he accuses Raila that Raila destroyed Jubilee, he looks a very high-tempered man. When he's addressing the deep system, he looks a very high-tempered man. And in my last video I did, I gave an explanation of how to classify and how to know where such tempers belong. If you see somebody ambaye kila wakati anafoka foka, kila wakati amekasirika, kila wakati ni mtu wa, you know, angry, bitter, those people, one, they lack self-esteem. Number two, they have lost hope. Number three, they have sensed a defeat in a situation, right? Even a lady who has sensed kwamba tadambiwa, you find she's bitter for nothing. Yani, arrogant. So, 
it's like Kenya Kwanza is losing grip on the ground. That is why they are turning out to be bitter to people. Today, regarding the shower was just away in Meru, an incident I want to castigate by all terms possible that we should not see such in this dispensation of the 21st century when we believe that we should be doing clean and democratic politics. I want to urge our young people out there that no matter the side you are supporting, no matter the party you are supporting, kindly allow each and everyone to sell his agenda peacefully. Watch him to let nyanyazake auze na hende. Kama utaki kununua, keep off. Sioni ni sababu gani sisi tunafaa kutupiana mawe like water is so in Meru. Haya maneno yamefanyika maeneo mengine. Raila amepiwa mawe, Ruto amepiwa mawe. Ni maneno ambayo Martha Karua amepiwa tia gasikisi. Ni mambo ambayo mimi kama kaka sungura. Hata kama Kenya kwanza imekosea mahali. Hata kama zimio imekosea mahali. We should not stone anybody as what we saw in Meru. Tika tika shawa napiwa mawe na natoroka kama mtoto. Ni kitu ambacho sisi tunafaa kulaani from this platform. It should not happen. It should not occur in such a dispensation. When we are synthesizing our people, our young people, the elderly, the men and women, that let us keep away from violence. We do not want to return where we were in 2007. That was so bad. It derailed our economy. It derailed our schools. The memories are still fresh. We do not want to go back there. Now, today, the deputy president has an, uh, had a number of rallies in Kenya. The last one, I think, Ali Malizia Hapanyamira. He was in Ivihiga. Nilikuwa nimeka mahali. And uh, I saw a clip trending on media and I was like, what could be happening here? Nilipo fungua that clip, nilipata kwamba it's our deputy president in Vihiga when he was addressing the Hasala nation. It was a well-attended meeting. I can't tell what transpired between him and I was told about, about a rider. Na maneno niyo yafikia kizungumza kwa sababu Hatu kuonyeshwa the response who jamawa about about Ali Pena that made our deputy president angry. So, ni kama huyu mtu about about Ali Pena manena mbao yali muguza na ibu wa rais. Ni kama Ali Pena maneno machungu ambayo yali mfanya roo ya deputy president kupando na hasira. Na the deputy president ali msomea sana. Can we listen to what he said? This is the deputy president of Vihiga. Na kama kuna mtu ametumwa hapa kuja kuharibu hii mkutano, useme saa hizi mapema. Ama uondoke kwa hii mkutano. Nyinyi mnanisikia? Mnataka sloya? Mnataka aondoke? Mnataka aondoke? Mnataka afanye nini? Bas nyamazeni. Atapata nafasi ya kuongea. Wewe kijana Wacha kunijibu, unanijibu kama nani? Kama umelete kisirani kwa hii mkutano, utoke. Hawezi kuja hapa na kuwaribu mkutano. Please, tuheshimiane. Sijui kama tunaelewana. Sisi tunawaheshimu hawa viongozi wote. Yes, you had it. I was thinking, who jamaa angekua karibu na naibu wa rais? Angekua mahali ambapo, the deputy president aneza nyosha mkona mfiki. Hi, it could have been another case. That was bitter. Unajua, kuna wakati mtu anakasirika mbaka anafika to the brim. Yani unamuona kwamba huyu mtu, the next possible thing, ni kumarizana na huyu mtu, one on one. Nikafikiria kwamba huyu naibu wa rais angefikia yule jamaa amufikie kwa mkono ama angekuwa na kitu ama mawe Hai hey. Yaani umesikia vile amemwambia And Makiu 
that is the deputy president kufikia mahali anazungumza in such a manner it means kuna vile alikasirishwa kuna vile maneno kutoka kwa huyu hasla mwenzake yalimuingia kwa roho that depicts what our able deputy president is able to do if he can do that in public akikupata in private na umemkosea sijui eh, ni nini kitafanyika that was in public mkutana na yeye kwa corridor na umemkosea with such a temper hey if ruto assumes power my friend wale watu watafanya serikali chini yake muko na shida muko na shida kubwa muko na problem is either mtakula makofi viboko ama wengi wenu mtabaki na majeraha mkifanya kazi because is somebody who can slap you if he attempted to slap the president but who are you kama alijaribu kumgonga deputy president sasa wewe ni nani Eugene Wamalo alisema juzi kwamba you almost even slapped him na matiani Ruto akasema in our country we don't slap women that was a, that was a, a powerful response you know Ruto, Ruto is a very bitter man he is you cannot compare him with Uhuru Kenyatta Uhuru Kenyatta alisema kwamba mimi Ah watu wameiba mashamba mimi nilikuwa linear to them but mother karua akikuja atawaosha na mtamalizia kwa sale I want to urge our able deputy president anapokuwa katika mikutano ajaribu kulowa his temper yeye ni kiongozi yeye ni baba wa taifa ajaribu kutuliza makali kidogo atulize makali bana tulize makali yani Huyu ni hasa la mwenzake. Okay, kuna hasa la wengine defiant ambao ni kichwa ngumu. Kama huyo from what the deputy president uttered ni kama huyo hasa la ni kichwa ngumu. And there is something he responded and sijui alitaja azimio. Sijui alimjibu nini? Sijui alimtukana? Sijui I don't know vile alijibu mpaka maneno yakamfikia deputy president and Ruto had to react in such a manner. As a leader in such meetings you lower down your temperature especially in times that we are headed to the general election Unatuliza makali kidogo alafu ukuje kuyatoa wakati umekuwa kiongozi unajua ukiwa rais sasa ukitoa hata makali yako sisi hatuna shida lakini unapokuwa katika mikutano ya public wacha kuacha makasiriko eh lowa tuliza tuliza boli tuliza eh umeenda ile tafuta maji muagie hiyo mioto kidogo ipungue Mungu akikujalia uchukue uongozi then from there as from August then you utafanya vile unataka but for now please don't show us your nakedness don't show us how you can be angry don't show us how tough you are you know kuna watu wanaogopa ukali na sura ile back thank you so much ladies and gentlemen hasala mwenzake anataka kutandika hasala mwenzake sura ile it's it's uh, <laughs> wow ni, ni mahali tumefika kama wa Kenya. Otherwise, may God bless you. Thank you so much. Mungu akubariki sana. Mungu akulinde. Tuonane in the next video.